the high school specifically, SSR was integrated in two years ago and it was actually a teacher-driven initiative that um, Kurt Gates was kind of the incubus in getting this started and um, he has a connection, his wife teaches at the middle school and that's something that is done at the middle school level and actually SSR has been around for a long time, it's been called a lot of different things. It's been called Deer Time, which is Drop Everything and Read, or Bear Time. SSR means Sustained Silent Reading or Silent Sustained Reading. It's been used interchangeably, but it is uninterrupted reading um, for pleasure that is integrated into the school day. And when we decided to uh, adopt this process at the high school level, uh, we had a group of teachers that led the professional development and as a faculty we agreed that this was something that was really good for kids to help uh, to help them become stronger readers and the research out there shows that students that are reading for pleasure and engaged in reading activities have higher levels of fluency, comprehension, vocabulary acquisition and so we are fortunate enough to be able to weave that into our daily schedule SSR has been a great experience. Um, I've widened my vocabulary a lot, reading multiple books of different kinds, and I think that it helps with writing as well as any other literature skill. It's helped with my writing skills, and I've gotten better grades on papers through the years because of my reading. Stop Everything, it gives you a sense of, if you pick a book that you're really into, you can go in a whole nother world. You can feel like time stops and you can just take a break. Well, it's nice to see during the day whenever um, you know the students have the certain books that they have to read for their classes, it's nice to be able to see them read what they want to read and get enjoyment out of reading and be able to choose any book that they, um, that they want to bring in. And it just kind of gives them a nice relaxing break. Uh, it's nice to have a time when we can just not worry about things, we just sit down and read and just read things that other people have written we don't have to worry about. I feel it's important just to show them that reading can be done for fun. It doesn't have to be all um, you know, school related. I think SSR is, is beneficial to everyone. I like it that I can sit down for 15-20 minutes a day and read a book of my own choosing that I'm not being forced to read and I can kind of relax. It's, it's kind of my time to almost recharge my batteries right during lunchtime. And, and it's almost like having a little bit of a break. So I think for teachers that's a good thing. And for students, anytime we can get them to read anything is going to be beneficial because the more you read, hopefully the more you comprehend, the more hopefully you learn to love reading because they're reading something that they want to as opposed to, you know, you must read this or else, you know, attitude or, or mantra that maybe they get in the classroom sometimes. So I think that's, that's uh, those are two really nice benefits for teachers and students. Well, I don't really read a lot, but I past year or two I started actually reading thicker books and I could read a lot more fluently, more smoother and faster. And when we were in junior high they started doing SSR with us and we started reading every day. I like the way that Liberty approaches SSR because they have a K through 12 SSR plan and having worked in other districts I can see a big difference here than what I've seen in other districts. I worked before in a 912 building and they tried really hard to implement an SSR plan but because it was not a K-12 program the students were not used to it and studies have shown that by the time they enter high school they've already established their reading habits. So the fact that we catch them here in kindergarten as soon as they become part of our Liberty family and work with them on SSR and teach them how to read really makes a huge difference. Studies actually show that for every 500 pages of grade level or above level text that a student reads, it's going to raise their ACT English score by one point because they're reading that good English, they're reading that good literature, and because of those habits that they've, they've learned through SSR, they know better how to approach their course level texts in all areas. I would like to say that for certain, a higher percentage of Liberty students are going to take reading into their adulthood because it's been so ingrained in them. It is a part of their daily life, it's a part of what they do, they know how to do it. They're literate individuals, as opposed to other places that don't have an SSR. Um, you know, unless a child is raised in a family that, you know, places an emphasis on literacy, 
they don't learn that quiet reading time. They don't have a chance for it. It's not part of their lives. But because it is a part of our students' lives, I think more of Liberty students are going to be readers throughout their lives. After going to college and being forced to read you know, finance and accounting textbooks um, for four years and not really having enough time to read just for my enjoyment, I realized after I got out how much I missed just reading books that I actually wanted to read and books that were fun and interesting and enjoyable for me. And so um, I think that implementing that to where they never lose the sense of reading just for enjoyment is important. And when I see my students here during SSR, pull out a book and read, they know that they know it's time to do that and they take that time to do that. They make sure that they have a plan, they make sure that they have a book and it's really incredible to see them sit down and read, no questions asked. And as, especially as an English teacher, that just, it really warms my heart.